Whether you're new to cruising or you've cruised for a while, you might have been hearing a little bit about cruising decks. Now, cruising decks are definitely one of the fun things that you can do and participate in on a cruise. I'm gonna share with you everything that you need to know. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, definitely one of the most fun trends to be going on in cruising over the last few years is cruising decks. Now this started a few years ago, but honestly, this trend is showing no signs of slowing down. So if you are going on a cruise, this is definitely something that you want to know about. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you the rules for cruising ducks. I'm going to share with you some tips and some mistakes to avoid. I'll briefly share how cruising ducks started and on what cruise lines it is the most popular, where you can get cruising ducks, and I'll answer a few frequently asked questions as well. Now for some cruising deck inspiration, I'll also be sharing with you some photos of cruise decks throughout this video. These are all shared with permission from the Lifewell Cruise community. Thank you so much to all who have contributed. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. What are cruising ducks and how does the game work? Well, here I have a little cruising duck or a little yellow rubber duck. So cruising ducks are little yellow rubber ducks and the game in essence is a form of hide and sink. You have people who decide that they want to hide the ducks on a cruise ship and other people will find them. Now hiding and finding cruise ducks is more popular on some cruise lines than others. One of the cruise lines where it's the most popular is on Carnival Cruise Line. Now, while cruising ducks may have started before this point, it seems to have been popularized by a little girl and her father who went on a Carnival Cruise back in 2018. So Abby Davis and her father, Ashley Davis, went on a Carnival Cruise and what they did is on their seven day cruise, they decided to hide 50 different yellow ducks. And the idea of this was that they wanted to bring a little bit of joy to people on that cruise as they found them, that it would bring a little smile to their face. Now it definitely seems to have done this and the trend did catch on. Now you will see cruising ducks on Royal Caribbean cruise ships and on other cruise lines as well. Now, while cruise ducks are a popular activity for families and children, there is no age limit to participating in the game of cruise ducks. People of all age can play this game, can participate by hiding or by finding these cruise ducks. Now, if you decide that you want to hide cruise ducks around the cruise ship, there are some rules. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to buy your cruise ducks. After that, you're going to want to have some tags where you can tag them with some different information. Now, some people might tag their cruise ducks with a sticker that they put on the bottom of the duck. Other people will attach tags or passports. And on these tags or passports, what you'll want to do is have certain information. Now, while the information on the tag can vary a little bit, what you want to make sure that you have is the sail date and the cruise ship. And you want to have the words keep or hide you decide. So in other words, if somebody finds a cruise duck, they can either keep it and they could take it home or give it to somebody or they can rehide it for somebody else to find. Now, when it comes to hiding the cruise ducks, there is a very important rule. Some people actually print out the rule on the tags in case somebody finds it and does rehide it. And the rule is that the cruise ducks are not to be hidden in any of the cruise shops, the pools, or the hot tubs. Now you may also have an instruction that you can take a photo and you can post it on social media with a hashtag. I believe that the most common hashtag is hashtag cruising ducks. There may even be a Facebook group for cruising ducks for your specific cruise line. Now, since everybody who participates in cruise ducks really wants to have a good time, I do have a few tips to share with you. Firstly, don't go overboard on how many cruise ducks you bring. So while it can sound like a lot of fun to tag a hundred different cruise ducks, realistically, you're going to have to pack all of that. Then you're going to have to hide all of them. That might be a little bit much. So I would say if you're going to do the cruising ducks, consider doing 50 at a maximum, but even doing 
a dozen or two dozen is probably going to be in itself a lot of fun. Don't try to find too good a hiding spot. While it is really fun to hide these cruise ducks, something to remember is not everybody who goes on the cruise knows about this game. So it is a little bit of fun if there is a cruise duck that's in a planter, for instance, or right next to the elevator, and somebody does find it, they often do get a nice surprise. Make sure though that you do not put it on the floor or anywhere that somebody could trip and get hurt. Don't ever put them in a location where they can go overboard. You're never allowed to throw anything into the ocean and that of course includes cruise ducks. So don't put them on the cruise ship railing. Don't get upset if crew members find the cruise ducks. Now I know in the past, some people worried that the crew members were maybe throwing away the cruise ducks. They didn't really understand it. But my understanding is now they are well aware of what this is. However, I know sometimes people get upset if they see a crew member maybe picking up one of those cruise ducks and putting it behind the bar counter or anything like that. Something to remember is it does say keep or hide, you decide. And crew members, well, they are people too. And my understanding is some of them are bringing these cruise ducks back home to their children. So it does become something nice for them too. Now, the other thing to try not to be upset about is if you do not see the cruise ducks that you are hiding, if you do not see them on social media. Something to remember is even though the tag will say, please post on social media, that not everybody has Facebook or uses Facebook when they're on a cruise. They may not have Wi-Fi or they may not want to join a closed group. Now, while it's possible that you might see some photos posted, don't do it for that reason, because just know that even if somebody found it and they didn't post it, they may have rehidden it It may still have brought them a smile, or maybe they just weren't comfortable doing that, but they still appreciated the gesture. Now, these are some frequently asked questions that people have about cruise decks. So one of the questions is, do ducks have to actually be ducks? Now, it seems like according to the original rules of the game, the ducks actually have to be ducks, so little yellow ducks. But I've heard of people doing other types of rubber animals and I can't see the problem. Please let me know if you think that's an issue in the comments below. Where can I get cruise ducks? Well, I found that the easiest place to order cruise ducks is on Amazon. There's just a wide variety of choice. And what I have seen now is you can actually buy different sets of cruise ducks where you can find the ducks, the tags, the ribbons to attach them. So it does make it easier. Now, if you do prefer to buy your own ducks and your own tags separately, you can also find the tags on sale on Amazon, I believe on Etsy as well. And you may even be able to find some free templates in some of those Facebook groups. Now, if you're looking for some sample wording to put on your own templates that you are going to be printing out, here is a popular one. Congratulations, oh, what luck, you found a duck. Keep or hide, you decide. Now I do have a blog post all about cruising ducks that goes into a little bit more information. You'll also get some samples of some different cruising ducks, some different cruising ducks novelty products. So I will leave that down in the description below. Now earlier in the video, I mentioned Abby Davis and her father, Ashley Davis, who seemed to have popularized this trend on a carnival cruise back in 2018. Now I have no affiliation with either of them. However, the last time I looked, Abby Davis was collecting these cruising ducks. So I will leave the information linked down below in the blog post in case you do wanna check that out and learn more about that. And in case you do want to help her out in any way. Now, please let me know if you've ever hidden any cruise ducks, if you plan on hiding cruise ducks on a future cruise. And please let me know as well on what cruise lines you have seen this on. It definitely seems to have gained a lot of popularity and we're seeing it on more and more cruise lines as time is going by. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.